let's get into some stunning style with the lovely Joy Acebe Gabriel. Yeah. Gorgeous, always, like head to toe. Yeah. Beautiful. Give me a hug. This Sorry about stepping on your toe, oh, honey. No, no worries. No. We're going to break down this whole look, but before we get yes. there, Joy always comes here and you always bring the best BIPOC brands. Yeah. You work really hard to bring that to us. They're always top notch. And right now, you're gonna take us around the world. We wanna look at high fashion kind of outside of the global north. Yeah, right? exactly. So I really believe there are so many interesting brands to discover beyond the shopping mall. Yeah. And something I hear from my clients often, and, and audience members might resonate with this too, is how can I find something that looks interesting, something that's unique, something that's got that, where did you get that factor? Yeah. But it's beyond my usual stores that I shop every day. So I'm really excited to share some of these brands with you. Yeah. And these are brands that are fusing local styles with a global outlook, that they're working with local materials, brands that have a unique approach, mm -hmm. and it's not just traditional outfits that are specific to those cultures. So thanks to the internet now, thanks to online shopping platforms like The Link that are vetting and curating these brands for us, yeah. we can shop from our homes and, and really travel the world with our wallets. With our wallets. <laughs> which is what we should do, yeah. right? Money talks. So yeah, go really and support does. these designers yeah. from all around the world. Um, I'm not even going to start this segment until we talk about your look. Like okay. head to toe, you always smash it. Can you give us a little oh, turn? Yeah. So like, a little, just look at the, the back. back. Yeah. I mean, come on. The detail yeah. on this blazer. Where is this from? Thank you. OK, so this blazer is from Christy Brown. It's okay. a made in Ghana luxury fashion brand and this is nice. a perfect example of fusing local materials so this is a batik with yeah. a modern uh cut and style mm -hmm. i love the embroidered insert at the back i think yeah. it really makes a statement yes and then i've paired it with these standout earrings so i love a statement earring yeah this is from a rwandan brand called inzuki designs they're available on the link and they're also working with local materials to create really standout pieces and I feel Beautiful. like it ties in very well with the green in the jacket and then of course the green in my pants. Yeah, it's yeah. all working, man. One yeah. thing I really want to highlight is that luxury fashion. Mm -hmm. So we tend to think of it as coming from certain places in the world. We're thinking of New York, we're thinking of Milan, Paris, yeah. London, and I want to say yes and and we can look beyond those places. Ghana, Nigeria, Guatemala, India, mm -hmm. they're creating luxury fashion as well. And I think there's, there's so much opportunity for us to really experience what other cultures, what other styles and trends are, are happening in the world and then bring it home. Yeah, and what they're bringing to the table for sure. Yeah. So I want to bring Lori out now. Okay. Take a look at this look on Lori. Yes. We're going to get into the designer. Beautiful. So. Lori is wearing this dress, available on the link. It's from a brand called Apro. They're based in India. So uh -huh. there's a couple things that I love about this. First is the bold print. This yeah. is a block print. It's really graphic. So it's not just a straight up black or white. It's mm -hmm. creating some visual interest. It's made out of habitai, which is a pure silk fabric that's lightweight and fine. So yeah. when the warmer months are coming, this will work beautifully. It's a jacket dress, so you can open it and wear it as more like a blazer with something underneath. Yep. You can keep the belt on and wear it more as a dress. Mm -hmm. And then you've got this stunning tool detail this is the part on I the like. bottom. I love that. It's, it's like a shirt dress with it's that like beautiful a shirt dress. detail. And I think, you know, something we don't see often. I think that's what yes. creates the interest here. I'm a big fan of statement jewelry. So yeah. we've paired it with Jenny, Jenny Greco earrings. And, I want those earrings. And they're uh, so cuffs. good. Again, available on the link. Yeah. And then we have to finish it off with a clutch. So I'm keeping the clutch quite minimal and sleek. Mm. This is by a brand called Atelier Boca, available on the link as well. Yeah. And they are inspired by craftsmen in Swaziland. Um, but they've created something nice. that's very sleek and minimal and modern. So you could pair this with lots of different outfits. Can I see that one, Laura? Okay, I want to be the girl that can just travel with this. Right. Yeah. This is, yes. <laughs> like, this is goals for me. Where am I putting my glasses? Yeah, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it's so... It's a lipstick it's, and a credit card. It's a lipstick way. and a credit card kind of night. Yeah. Maybe a toonie if you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful look head to toe, Lori. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. beautiful. I love the earrings. So good.
right? Vanessa is wearing this stunning dress. It's by a brand called Nanfe, available okay. on the link. They're based in Nigeria. Yeah. And this is an example to me of how Shopping from abroad doesn't mean I'm only buying traditional outfits. Right. I'm only buying something that's very specific to that culture. Yeah. Brands like this are creating pieces that have a global appeal, but then giving us something that maybe is harder to find at home, like bold prints, like yeah. bolder colors, um, a certain way of looking at the female form and creating really curve-hugging silhouettes. I think it's exciting to see what other approaches to style are creating, and this dress is doing it for me, she's also wearing earrings by Jenny Greco. Nice. And um, then we've paired it really, a really cute shoe from Aldo. Beautiful. This is one thing from Nenfei. This is another dress oh that my gosh. I love. I love yeah. the ruffle detail. I love the lace. I think this would be great in summer for yes. a summer party or even going to a wedding. All um, of it. Yeah. Again. So it's nice that we're doing, like, we're, we're having some fun with the whole sheer trend because we're doing eyelet, we're doing lace, but yep. something like this is so pretty and feminine and beautiful for the summer months yeah. or all year round. We yeah. don't have those rules anymore. And just right? different. It's like, I feel like finding things that I can't find locally, finding yes. things that I can't find in the shopping mall. Yeah. Yeah. The last thing I want to say about that, because you mentioned sort of wearing these brands, and I know people have sort of been tiptoeing about cultural appropriation. Yes. Like, do I wear the Ankara? Yes. Do I embrace this? Yep. But a lot of these high-end designers, they're designing it for everyone. They really are. They really want everyone to, you know, catapult them to the top of high fashion as well. So please yes. do jump in and support yes. these designers. 100%. Beautiful, V. Thank you so Thank much. You. Very nice. can't with Catherine. I mean, right? the sachet, and I feel like this robe deserves that kind of sachet. It demands so it. You were just talking about using local um, fabric. So this is a sari that's been upcycled into a silk Do you mind, Catherine? Robe. Oh, I'm so pretty. Right? It so feels really nice. We've done pieces that might be more for events. This is something that you could wear at home and swan around, feeling like lady of leisure, which is one of my favorite things. Yes. Um, it's elegant. You can dress it up and wear it out. Mm -hmm. So we've got Catherine with this clutch sheet clutch from uh, the link. Pretty. The um, robe is available from Shop Sol, so they travel the world looking for really unique pieces. And yeah. then again, Inzuki Designs in the earrings from Rwanda. All of the earrings are so good, and are they light? Super light. Oh, I like Super that. light, but big and make a statement, Yeah, which they're I love. so beautiful. Yeah. Head to toe looking great, Catherine. Yes. Thank you so much, Han. Always good to see you. Just a couple of the pieces on your rack. Yeah. Like, Where's that one from? So uh, this is an Indian designer. It's available on the link. Again, I love the detail, Me the too. prints, the beading. Mm -hmm. If um, you've ever not wanted to look like you bought your stuff from a big box store, this is how you do it, this is right? How you do it. So this is Christy Brown again, the luxury Guinean fashion brand. Nice. Something um, simple that you could pair over jeans. Again, like just bright color. Yeah, beautiful. Interesting designs. And then the bustier that I want. Oh yes. <laughs> Where is that from? This is from an Indian brand, also available on the link. This is House of Sangai. Gorgeous. So I would pair this with a pair of jeans. Yes. You could throw a blazer over top. There's lots you could do with this. Like the bags are beautiful too. Would you mind yeah. passing me that yellow one, I Joy? Where are they from? This one. Where are this these is ones from, from Tone Textiles. So they design these in Canada, but then they're produced by artisans in Guatemala. They use upcycled um, plastic, yeah. recycled plastic. So again, sustainable. And one thing I love about this bag is the pom poms. They're so nice. And you can get them in all different colors, but yeah. you can coordinate with your outfits. I just feel like going to the market. Drop your laptop in. Yeah, very Lots vibrant. Yeah. So you've brought us gorgeous looks mm -hmm. um, and something else as well. We've got great news for one lucky member of the audience. So one of you is going to win a $500 gift card from The Link. That's the mm -hmm. website that she's been mentioning. So you can shop the world. <laughs> and we're going to draw for it. You want to hold that right now? Let's get the drum roll going. And I'm going to pick a name. Who do I got here? I want you to act up if you win, okay? <laughs> the winner is Jenny Tate! 